Hello, welcome, welcome. Time for the yoga. Yes. We're doing all of the trees today. The standing trees, the falling trees, <laughs> pumpkin trees. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take a few moments just to get reacquainted with our breath. So you might start with a few deep breaths, nice audible inhale, and an audible exhale with a sigh. Nice full breath in, just feel yourself being filled with this pranic energy. And exhale for the release. And just continue with slow, steady breaths, mindful breathing. As you continue to tune in, check in. Just notice how you're feeling. As you're breathing, just check in with your body, maybe some light movements to fully assess what you're needing from your practice today. All good. Slow, steady breaths. Just deepening this connection. This breath work, pranayama, brings us to this moment, helps us to be more present connected and aware. On your next breath in, again, just feel the breath rising upward, filling up your lungs. And with this exhale, draw your belly button in towards your spine as we connect to the abdominal lock. That light contraction of your abdominal muscles. Perhaps again, full breath in. Feel the lengthening of your spine growing a little taller as your lungs expand. Exhale, draw belly in. Uddiyana Bandha, the abdominal lock. That sensation helps us to be strong in our own bodies, to be supported while standing in stillness, and balancing on one foot, even moving through our sequences. Let's take three more breaths using these breaths to bring energy to your body, preparing your body to move. And when you're ready, inhale and extend your arms overhead. Nice stretch, reach all the way up. And exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips with soft knees. Just take your time, folding, Belly comes down towards thighs. Maybe your fingertips reach your ankles, your shins, maybe your toes or the ground. Inhale, slide your hands up to your shins or knees. To extend your spine, only rise up halfway. And exhale, fold. To slide back down the legs. You can make this a partial fold, not needing to go all the way down. Or just continue to move slowly ah, until you reach the full standing forward fold sensation. And while you're here, just noticing how this feels. Assess the lengthening down through your spine, perhaps, perhaps in heaviness in the upper body. So that you can maybe roll your shoulders backward and forward, gentle movements with your head and neck. And a nice stretch down through the backs of your legs. Nice hamstring stretch, even with soft knees. Let's return to a halfway lift. So inhale, slide your hands back up to shins, your knees rising halfway. We'll pause here on the exhale to settle in, being sure your feet feel, feel well grounded, balanced, softness in the knees, the extended spine parallel to the ground. Now shifting your weight into your heels, bend your knees to lower your hips like you're sitting down into a chair. Lifting upper body, then extend your arms out and up with an inhale. Reach high, big stretch. And exhale, you can bring hands together and down to your heart, or you can bring your arms down to your side. Let's take a moment, find breath. 
We'll move through this half salute once again. When you're ready, inhale, sweeping your arms out and up, but lengthening through the sides of your body. There we go. Exhale, swan dive forward, soft knees, taking your time, partial fold or all the way down if you'd like. Inhale, slide, hands up, to the legs a bit to rise up halfway to a flat back. Exhale, back down. The same weight shift into your heels, bend your knees to lower hips, extended spine, then extend the arms out and up. Inhale, reaching high, good energy. Exhale, hands to heart or arms down to your side. Another pause here. Keep checking in with your breath, how you're feeling. Remember to move as you need to move, modify any poses, choose different postures as you need to today also. Let's continue our flow. Inhale, reaching a bit higher, energy in your hands and fingers. Exhale, leading with your heart, fold forward, good. It's moving in slow motion or moving just with the pace of your own breath. Inhale, rise up halfway, feel the top of your head lead you forward. And you exhale, just slide back down. Bend the knees more so you can reach the ground with your hands. Plant them into the earth near the top of the mat and walk your feet to the back end of your mat. We'll be in plank pose. Just draw that strong straight line. We'll pause for a moment. Just pushing into the earth so you can feel the energy in your arms, strong and straight. Let's breathe in. And the exhale, bend your knees a little, send your hips into the air. Heart and head just sink between the arms, downward facing dog as needed. Make any adjustments with your feet, even your hands to help settle into the pose. Feel free just to hold here, be with the posture or add movement as you continue to assess how you're feeling, what your body needs. Maybe here, just a little stretch for your toes by pressing one heel down as the other heel lifts and alternate, there you go. Feeling what's happening in the soles of your feet, even your heels and ankles. That stretch in the calves as the heels press downward. All right, take a nice full breath in, filling up your lungs. Exhaling, draw navel to spine, bend your knees, walk, step or hop. Both feet return to the top of the mat. You'll be in forward fold. Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, fold again. Weight shift into the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Yes, coming all the way up. Keep it moving as we exhale, take a seat into chair pose. Utkatasana, or fierce pose if we translated that. Nice outstretched arm, sitting back and down into the imaginary seat, breathing in. And exhale, dive out of your seat, back down towards toes, forward fold. And inhale, rise up halfway, find that flat back like you're a table. Exhale, folding, bend your knees, hands press into the earth, hop or step back into plank pose. Take your time to get here. Same thing, just find the good energy in your body, pushing into the earth, strong straight arms. Engage your core. You can take that same shortcut to down dog like we did the first time, or with your exhale, bend your elbows, squeeze them in towards your ribs to lower your body. To Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to a low cobra or locust, or a little higher to upward facing dog. And finishing together with an exhale, downward facing dog. Making the adjustments with feet and hands. And we'll add our lunge. Inhale, extend right leg up behind you, strong straight line, holding for a moment. Just feel the body get a little bit longer, perhaps stronger. Breathe in and exhale, step right foot to the top of the mat. You can just land right behind the right hand. Turn left heel to the earth behind you, shifting the weight back into that foot. So you have light hands, you can easily lift them, reach forward, rising up. Let's pause in Warrior One for a moment. Good reach, good lunge. You can always change your arm posture if you need to as we hold and just paying attention to perhaps your left leg. Nice opening and release through the hip flexor. A little belt line here. Let's take a breath in, re-extending the arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Hands return to the earth. Slide right foot back. There's plank pose. Complete the series as you'd like. Here's a modification. You can bring knees to the floor first, then chest if you're going through that full vinyasa. Up dog or cobra, and finishing in downward facing dog, and exhale to get you there. 
Other side, inhale, extend left, leg up and away. We'll pause for a moment, just feeling the body get a little bit longer. We'll breathe in and exhale, step left foot to the top of the mat. Right heel turns to the floor, shifting the weight back so it's away from this left knee so we don't aggravate the knee as we rise up with this lunge. Rising up, reach high, lunge low. Arms can stay straight or you can change your arm posture. Now paying attention to the right leg, hip flexor, just right around the belt line, hip. Inhale, re-extend arms. Exhale, we'll fold. Hands return to the earth. A solid connection, slide left foot back, plank pose, and complete the series as you'd like. Meeting in downward facing dog. Just hold and down dog. Let's take a full breath in, filling up the lungs. Exhale, bend knees, hop, step, or walk. Both feet return to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, long spine, lifting up halfway, so hands slide up the shins a bit. Exhale to refold, return to standing, shifting weight into the heels, bend your knees, come all the way up to standing, reaching a bit higher. With the arms, exhale, arms down to your side. We'll pause here, feel free just to check in again. Shoulders, arms, hands, even working down the body, hips, knees and feet. Let's go right into our first balance, tree pose. So first balancing on two feet. Softness in the knees, just being aware if your knees are locked, just a little softness there. And then shifting weight into your right foot, plant that foot. We'll get tall up top with an inhale, fill up the lungs. Exhale, pull belly in, that's our security. Now we'll pick up the left foot, flexing the foot, drawing a nice right angle here if you're able, a little table. We'll swing that knee out to the side and just until it stops, it might stop here. It might go a little further, but don't force it. And then we'll bring foot to the inside of your standing leg. It can be inner thigh. You can even hold on to it for the duration or down lower below the knee or even use the ground or even walk over to a wall. And inhale, reaching arms up. So we have this extension. We're reaching up, but there's this rooting sensation downwards. We're being pulled apart. We make a little bit more space across the belt line, which can open the hip a little bit more here. Keep the arms extended, swing this left knee forward. We'll lift the knee with the flexed foot and we'll plant the foot into the ground. Rebalance on two feet and arms return to your side. Nice job. Check in, shake things loose. Check in with your right foot. Let's go right into the other side. Grounded on two feet, well balanced. Softness in the knees, yes. Shifting weight into left foot. And inhale, get tall, fill up the lungs. You can exhale through the mouth, engage your core. Now we're ready. Picking up right foot, flex foot for a nice right angle in the leg. Thighs parallel to the floor. Swing it out until it just naturally stops. Again, it could be short, that's fine. And foot to the inner thigh or down lower towards the calf or even use the ground. Inhale, extend arms up. There we are, pulling apart, reaching upward, rooting into the earth, making space throughout the body especially across the waistline. Don't forget to draw belly in with the exhale, a little extra sense of security. Let's keep arms extended. We'll swing that right knee forward, lifting knee flexed foot. Yes, plant the foot into the earth, rebalancing and arms back down to your side. Nice job. Okay, shake that all loose. We'll continue our flow, continue to move at your own pace. Don't forget to modify when you need to. Inhale, reaching up. Take chair pose again on the exhale, sitting back, weight shift back into the hips and heels. Nice extension through the arms. Breathe in and exhale, dive out of your seat, back down towards toes, forward fold. Go at your own pace. Inhale, rise up halfway. Nice elongation of the spine. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, plant the hands into the earth, hop or step the feet back, plank pose. There's our strength, finishing the vinyasa as you like. Don't forget you do have your shortcut. Move you right into down dog if you'd like. Once you're in down dog, let's just keep on moving. Inhale, extend the right leg up into the air. Let's open the hip here. Bend the right knee, bring your heel down towards backside. Perhaps a little lift of the knee. 
to get that hip opener. Just be sure your hands still feel like they're pressing firmly and strongly into the mat. Strong, straight arms. Breathe in. Exhale, unwind and step through. Right foot to the top of the mat. Take your time with these transitions. Left foot to the floor entirely, finding your center and balance. With light hands, we'll rise up, inhale. Exhale, opening up to your left. Warrior two, arms come down to parallel. Perfect. That natural readjustment of the feet. Maybe a wider stance. And then side angle pose, reaching out. Angled upper body, rotate the arms, reach high with the left hand and the right arm. Several things, it might be reaching towards the floor, you might be touching the floor or a block. Yeah, you can be up higher where your right arm or even your right hand is on the thigh. Let's take a nice full breath in. And exhale, turn and fold. Bring your hands back down to the floor. Slide right foot back, plank pose. Complete your series as you'd like. When you're ready, no rush. Inhale, extend left leg into the air. Starting with a straight line, but then we'll bend that knee. Bring heel down towards backside. A slight lift of the knee up will help open the hip towards the left side. Check in with hands. Press firmly into the mat. Strong, straight arms. Breathe in. Exhale, unwind from that rotation, stepping left foot up to the top of the mat or behind the left hand, right heel to the earth. With a balanced body, we rise up, first warrior. Exhale, opening up to your right, arms to parallel. There it is, warrior two. Adjusting the feet, nice strong foundation underneath you. Side angle, reaching out, tip it over. Left hand reaching downward, right hand reaching towards the sky. Good opening through the whole front side of the body, another hip opener, okay, especially if you have some good distance between the feet. Or even bracing this left arm against the inner left leg. I feel like you're even pushing it towards the left side of the room just to create a little bit more of a opening in the hip. Moving here, breathe in. Exhale, turn and fold. Hands return to the earth. Step left foot back, plank pose. Again, completing the series as you'd like. Always welcome to take the shortcut anytime. One or two breaths in downward facing dog. We'll come down to the earth. Just gently kneel down, sit back briefly in hero pose, and then just sit off to the side, swing the legs around to the front, making sure there's space behind you so you can roll down onto your back. And take the legs or bring the knees in. Add some movement here, a little massage for your back, your hips. Get reacquainted with the breath. We'll get set up for bridge pose. So replant the feet into the earth. Once here, a nice full breath in, filling up your lungs. You can exhale through the mouth. And then lift the hips off the ground, even if it's just a, a little lift. Just off the ground, you could even slide a block underneath you to sit on for a supported bridge pose. Or just, come, or just continue lifting until you find and feel the sensations you need in your back bend. You might even get arms and shoulders underneath you as you're able, just to experience a little bit more of an opening and expression of the heart and chest. For more support, even bend your elbows, press the backs of your arms down into the ground. Good lift of the hips. Getting the front side of the body to open up a bit more. Again, checking in with hip flexors, upper thigh, Cross the low belly. One more breath in and out. And on that exhale, just start to soften, lowering the hips a little bit, but first wiggle the feet forward. Extend your arms up into the air, just making more space in the back body so you can safely return to the ground. Once you're down, go ahead and extend the arms behind you. Legs out in front, active reach and stretch. We're gonna do a few more things on the ground here. 
half happy baby pose. So let's draw right knee into chest, catch it in your hands here. Maybe a light flex of the foot, not too strongly. If you draw it straight up or towards you, you know, the, at least my leg just has a natural stopping point. To get into this half happy baby, we take the right leg to the right side a little bit and then keep drawing it up as if you're moving it towards that back corner of your mat. You can keep the leg just like this or even kick that right foot up towards ceiling. And if you can reach right hand on the sole of the foot or even just holding onto the ankle, you don't have to press that leg down, just the natural weight of your hand on the foot will add that tension to draw the knee outward and downward. So you don't have to force that stretch. Gently easing into this, these openings. Sending breath to these areas. We'll take three more breaths. Now for that third breath, we'll release this foot, extend the leg out in front of you, and just come to Shavasana for a moment. Just as a way to realign the body, disengage from that first pose, preparing for the second side. And when you feel ready, let's draw a left knee in towards chest, find that natural stop, getting into that hip opener. We take the knee outward towards the left side a little bit, drawing the knee up towards that back left corner of your mat. Keeping the leg here if you want with a lightly flexed foot or kick that foot up towards ceiling if you can reach the sole of the foot with the hand or just hold on to the ankle or calf or just hold on to the shin. Again, just let that natural weight occur. Breathe with this. I'm noticing because I've got this left knee bent, I have more weight to that side of the body, so I feel like I'm rolling to that side. So what I'm doing with the right side is, is flexing the right foot to engage that leg, and even extending my right arm out to the right side. And I just feel like I, I feel more flat on the ground. We're not rolling to the left side. About three more breaths. When you feel complete, just release, extend the leg, back to your Shavasana. Realign, disengage, take a breath. Moving into boat pose. When you're ready, draw both knees into chest. You can rock your way up to seated, or even roll to your side and press yourself up to seated and moving into your boat pose. And of course, you can do boat with feet on the floor if you want to. I like to hold onto the knees to help extend spine and lean back, just finding the tension that you want to create here. Good exhale, perhaps through the mouth to engage core. Again, feet can stay on the floor. Or if you just lean back, walk the feet towards yourself, you'll just find that spot where the feet can easily lift without effort, without any effort. Nice extension of the spine. You can even extend the legs a little bit. Keep the feet active. You can flex the feet or even point your toes or both. You just want to kind of get into the ankles, wiggle your toes. Freeing your hands, holding on, lots of options. Moving from here, breathe in. Exhale, we'll cross legs, hands in front or even to the side. So you can unravel the legs, get them back behind you. Strong plank pose. Take a shortcut to downward facing dog. Here we go, inhale, extend right leg up, quick bend and twist, just opening up, maybe a little wider if you can, unwind, step through, right foot to the top of the mat, left heel to the earth, find your center, then float up, first warrior, exhale, opening warrior two. Once you settle into warrior two, just to take this a little bit deeper, just wiggle the right foot forward once or twice, doesn't have to be much, same with the back foot, once or twice, that just takes you a little bit wider without forcing it. Then our side angle, reach, until you naturally stop, and just see if you can go a little bit more. 
and then rotate the arms. Just gradually taking the pose a little bit deeper. And again, the right arm in this case might be braced against the right leg, inner right leg, and just give a little nudge, a little push towards the right side of the room. Meanwhile, your pelvis is pushing forward towards the left side of the room, just to get a little bit more of that opening. Here we go, breathe in, exhale, turn and fold, hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose, hold plank. Here comes your favorite pose. We're picking up the right foot, just a few inches off the floor. I'm gonna take the toes of that foot and just touch the inner left leg. That means the right knee is pointing towards the right side of the room, but naturally it wants to drop to the ground. But we have to uh, use effort to lift the knee so it's pointing to the side of the room. Here's our fallen tree. Re-extend the leg back, toes on the ground. If you need to rest, please rest, or take another shortcut to down dog. Continuing the flow, inhale, extend left leg up and away, bend and twist, see if you can open up a little bit more without forcing, unwind, step through, warrior one. Landing right heel to the earth, find your center, light hands floating upward, and opening warrior two. Once you settle in, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, left foot, we just wiggle it forward once or twice. Again, not much, same distance with the back foot. There's our deeper lunge. Reaching forward, angled upper body until you naturally stop, then go a half a centimeter more, and then rotate the arms. Reach up, reach down. Left arm braced against inner left leg. We're feeling like it's being moved towards the left side of the room. Pelvis moving forward towards the right side of the room. Here we go, breathe in, exhale, here we go, turn and fold, hands to the earth, step back and plank into plank pose, solidify the posture, and then just pick up the left foot just an inch or two off the floor, we're bending the knee so we can just take the toes and just touching the inner right leg, okay, just touch. Lifting the knee so it's pointing to the side of the room as best as you can, lots of effort involved here, so hip strength, you might feel this in the glutes. All right, re-extend the left leg back, toes on the floor. Finishing the vinyasa, the shortcut's fine, or a variation of your vinyasa to get you to downward facing dog. Returning to standing, first a breath in, exhale, walk, step or hop, both feet up to the top of the mat to your forward fold. Inhale, rise up halfway, elongated spine. Exhale, fold again. Weight shift into the heels, bend your knees, inhale, reverse swan dive, get tall here. Reach high, good effort, yeah. Exhale, arms down to your side. Good, check in, how are you doing? Okay, watch this. We're gonna go back into tree pose. Just watch, we're just gonna hop into tree real, qu real quick. We're gonna take this into a lunge. So here, the instruction will be arms will stay extended. We're gonna swing this left knee forward in this case, lifting knee flexed foot. You're gonna bend the knee of the leg you're standing on. So bending the right knee. We have some movement to hinge. Keep extending out through the arms as you now extend the left leg back. We'll be in a bit of a balance right here, but then bend the right knee again to get low enough to set the toes onto the floor behind you. We'll end up in a high lunge. We'll hold so we can get this stretch. Okay, mountain pose, balanced on two feet. Softness in the knees. Shifting weight into your right foot. Get tall up top, inhale, fill up the lungs. Exhale, draw belly in. That's a security, picking up left foot. Thigh parallel with the floor here, swing the knee out. And then we're gonna plug it in, high, medium, or low. I'm gonna take mine to calf, that's where I typically go. Then inhale, extend arms up, good effort. Energy through hands and fingers. Reach, feel the rooting sensation, core connection. And then the hip opener, transition. Arms stay up, we'll swing left knee forward. Lifting knee, flexed foot, bend the right knee, hinge. Reach out with both arms as this left leg, this is hip work as well, as it extends back. Bend the right knee so we can come down, set the toes down behind you. Hinge your way back up. Hold for a moment, here's our hip flexor stretch. 
We're going to take this to triangle. So we're going to rise up to straighten the legs. Pivot left heel to the floor. You'll turn sideways, arms to parallel. Triangle, reaching out over the right leg. Rotate the arms. Again, perfectly fine to stay up high in this pose, meaning the right hand might be up by your thigh or knee. That's fine. Initially, we may feel this mostly in the right leg and hamstrings, but this is also good hip work because of the lateral tip. All right, coming out, bend the right knee for leverage and support as we rise up, pass through your warrior two, reversing the warrior. Good, reaching out, a little side stretch. Nice lunge in front with a bent knee. If you're reaching up and slightly behind you, if you need to, support the left hip with left hand. A big cartwheel out of the pose, around and down to the floor in front. Step back, plank pose with right foot lifted. Back to your fallen tree. Toes touch the inner left leg, knee pointing or lifting towards the right side of the room. Okay, let that knee drop, let gravity drop. Okay, take it, and just set that knee onto the floor directly underneath the hip. Swing that right foot off to the right side and then turn sideways for a side plank. Yes. Same idea is side angle. We want to feel the pelvis or your imaginary belt pushing forward to help open up the hip. Yes. There you go. Breathe in and exhale a careful return to the earth. So left hand, bring the left knee to the floor, bring that right foot back in. So you're on your hands and knees here. And while we're here, either take a rest to get off the hands or cat-cow or a little of both. So cat-cow or a little spinal undulation and hip rotation. And if you need to rest, maybe sit back to get off of the hands. Finish the breath that you're on. Maybe take two more. Once you're complete, just come to stillness in this tabletop posture. If you're still resting, that's fine, that's good. I'm gonna step the hands forward, just get the hands and wrists out from underneath the shoulders, tuck toes, do one more cat-cow. So cow is the inhale, cat is the exhale, and then take that right into down dog. Hips lift, chest sinks. Breathe in, exhale, bend knees, hop, step, or walk. Both feet return to the top of the mat. You'll be in forward fold. Inhale, elongate through spine. Fold again. Weight shift into the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse swan dive, coming up. Reach high, big stretch. Exhale, arms down to your side. Yes, so there's our sequence. I like side angle with the knee on the floor. Got the kickstand for the balance. Okay. But it's kind of shaped like tree pose with the knee bent opening up through the hip. Okay. You want to feel the hips push forward so we get that opening. Feel free to take an arm overhead like so, even that back foot lifting. Okay. Starting in tree pose for the other side. Okay. Mountain, soft knees, shifting weight into left foot. Get tall on the inhale, fill up the lungs, exhale for the core connection. Picking up right foot, going to tree pose. Swinging knee out to the right, foot to inner leg, high, medium, or low. Take your time, once you've established that, grow tall, limbs reaching upward, making space in your center. Maybe this knee can swing out a little bit more. Core connection. Let's keep arms extended. We'll swing right knee forward now. Lifting knee, flexed foot. Stay here, bend left knee. Hinge, reach out with the arms as you extend right leg back. Keep bending left knee so you can come down, touch ground with the toes behind you and rise up to your high lunge for a pause so we can notice what's happening here. Prepping for triangle, we rise up, straightening both legs, pivot right heel to the floor, turn sideways, yes. Arms to parallel. You can even shorten the distance between the feet if you need to, that's fine. Triangle, reach out, pass the left leg, tip it over, rotate the arms, yeah. Finding the range, oh, it feels best for you on this side. Tuning in to breath for sure. 
the sensation of this left leg, the hips as you're tipped over. Coming out, bend the left knee, passing or rising up to pass through warrior two. Left hand reaching into the air, making sure we still have that nice knee bend in front for the lunge. Support right hip with hand as needed. Good extension through the left side of the body. Here comes our cartwheel out of the pose, around and down to the floor in front. Step back, plank pose, left foot lifted. Not too high. Fallen tree, left set of toes, just touch the inner left leg, lifting the knee. Effort in the lift to get the knee point sideways and then release that effort so the knee is pointing or dropping down. Set the knee on the floor. Swing that foot off to the side. There's our kickstand and just continue opening the body to the right. Find your balance, find the pose. And don't forget that pelvis, your belt buckle pushing forward. Your upper body, upper back body, lean back into an imaginary wall. You can extend the right arm overhead. Right foot can either stay on the floor or lift. Good, here we go, breathe in. Exhale, right hand and right knee to the ground. Left foot comes back in. And cat cow or rest. Keeping this good mobility through the spine. All right, take two more breaths. Okay, hold your tabletop posture, returning to down dog, stepping the hands forward, tuck toes, one more cat cow, inhale for cow, exhale cat, then lift knees, hips to sky, sink chest, and there's down dog. Back to standing, breathe in, exhale, walk, step or hop both feet to the top of the mat to your forward fold. Inhale, rising halfway or just feel the extended spine, exhale, fold again. Weight shift into the heels, bend the knees, inhale, reverse swan dive, coming all the way up, reaching high. Exhale, arms down to your side, okay? Quick pause, exact same sequence, but we're gonna add pigeon pose once we get down to the earth, okay? So tree pose, that's mountain to tree. Soft knees, shifting weight into right foot, getting our breath, core connected, floating left foot up, swing it out, plug it in. Reaching beyond the ceiling with the arms. Nice space creation through the center body. Keep it moving. Swing left knee forward, lifting knee, flexed foot, bend the right knee, hinge, reach out with the arms, extend left leg back, bend the right knee more, set the toes down behind you. Okay, war, uh, high lunge. Stay here on the inhale. Exhale, opening to warrior two. Okay, take this to side angle, reach out, Tip it over, not gonna be here too long. Okay, once you're in side angle, inhale, reach high and low. On the exhale, turn and fold, hands to the floor. Listen carefully, because we're gonna slide the right foot back and up into the air, bend and twist. Getting ready for pigeon right here. As you unwind, carefully set right knee onto the earth, behind the right wrist, angled leg. Left knee comes to the ground. Use your left knee and toes. To crawl back, you're finding center, but also taking weight off the hands and putting more pressure as you desire into the hips. You can carefully come down to elbows and maybe even forehead to the ground or stacked fists or block if you have one nearby. Just like what we did in maybe the half happy baby pose, just kind of settling in, softening into the posture. Sending breath to the sensations to create more space in those areas, perhaps. Okay, 
and hold a little bit longer, but see if there is more space. What you might do here is take your left knee and toes and crawl that left leg back. It may not move much at all. And with the upper body, just lift your head, maybe your chest a little bit, and try to extend the spine like you're trying to come forward. And again, you might not move at all. And then just settle back down into the pose. And with those gentle, very subtle movements, you actually have gone deeper into the posture. And some of us have a time limit on how long we can hold certain postures like this one. So if you feel like you've reached your peak, you can feel free to come out of the pose or soften the pose. And of course, we have those alternatives like eye of the needle pose or reclining pigeon pose. Let's take two more breaths. After the second breath, you're gonna move as slowly as you can, lifting the head, come up onto your hands, lifting just a little bit. You're gonna sit way off to your right side. So you can bring this left leg around to the front, coming to Janu Shirshasana. So it's another tree pose shape. So left leg will be extended, right knee is bent, right foot to the inner leg. You can be up by your thigh, knee, or even lower. If this knee is off the ground, no worries. You can just let it be there or even bring a block for it to rest on, or it might even touch the ground. From here, we'll inhale, extend, extend both arms up. Good lift, getting up out of the pelvic bowl. Exhale, hinge a little bit. You can just bring the hands down either to the floor or your leg. You can start to round your spine and maybe reach out towards the foot. You can even bend this left knee as needed. So we're going to hold here. Settle in, use breath. This is a multitasking pose. Nice hamstring stretch through the left leg. We have a hip opener on the right side. If you're folded forward, you might feel a stretch through your back. Let's take three more breaths here. When you're complete, just free your hands, reach forward. Inhale, hinge your way back up. Get nice and tall here at the top like you initiated. Extra lift. Exhale, bring your arms and hands down to your side. Okay. You're going to lean back just a little bit. Okay, just lean back into the hands. Bend this left knee. Just kind of drag the heel. Stay where you are because you're going to kind of turn to your right. You're going to pick up this foot and step over this knee over here. So you just kind of be at an angle. That's fine. Don't, don't, don't move. <clears throat> okay. And just hold on to the shin, perhaps with both hands, get nice and tall initially. Then to keep holding onto the knee or shin with the right hand and the left hand around behind you, and you prop yourself up either on your palm or fingertips and just lift. We're not going to be here too long. Just introducing a little bit of a twist. As you hold on to this shin or knee with the right hand, notice, because I do, you might notice a little sensation in the hips, outer hips. There we go. And just three more breaths. Start to unwind, okay, facing this left knee. Can you free the hands, lean back, follow me here, just lean back so we can try to extend this left leg, okay, like you're a compass, and <clears throat> just swing this lifted left leg around back to the original spot, okay. We'll lift this right knee. We're just coming to boat pose, just for a transition. Okay, so we're not going to be here too long. Feet can be on the floor or lifted. We're going to inhale. Here we go. Exhale, cross legs, hands in front or to the side. Plank pose. Short, shortcut or full vinyasa to down dog.
Nice full breath in. Exhale, bend knees, hop, step, or walk. Both feet up to the top of the mat, two forward fold. Inhale, elongate through spine. Nice flat back. Exhale, refold. Maybe the back rounds here. Shifting weight into the heels. Bend your knees. Inhale, reverse wand dive. Get tall, reaching high. And exhale, arms down to your side. So that's one side. We have to do the other side. Same sequence. We're adding that pigeon pose. Okay. Mountain to tree. Soft knees. Shifting weight into left foot. Tall body breathing in. Core connection on the exhale. Picking up right foot. Swinging out. Plug it in. I like that because it's a hip opener. Both arms up into the sky. Energize the pose. Good breath. Okay, we'll swing this right knee forward. Lifting knee, flexed foot. Bend the left knee. Hinge. Extend out through the arms. Extend that back leg. Bend the left knee. Come down. Touch ground with the toes. High lunge. So we're getting perpendicular to the floor for a moment. Breathe in. Exhale, opening to warrior two, adjusting feet side angle, reach out, tip it over. Okay, still moving, breathe in. Exhale, turn and fold, hands to the floor. Back to down dog, sweep the left foot back and up. Bend and twist open, pigeon is here. Exhale, unwinding left knee to the earth behind left wrist. Don't forget we have the alternative. You can come down onto your back or the reclining pigeon pose. Otherwise, using right knee and toes to shift back to sit into the posture, finding the depth of sensation you desire here, lowering the upper body, and just settle in. This posture can certainly be treated as a yin pose. In yin, you would just hold in complete stillness as best as you can. And of course, we would use a lot of props to help support the body. So you can certainly take that yin approach or continue with this yan sensation, yin and yan, okay, maybe adding some movement. Yin has some deactivation Yan is activation. If you'd like, going deeper, using the right knee and toes, seeing if that right leg can extend back a little bit more. Lifting head and chest, extending spine, trying to come forward. Again, these might be very subtle movements, but subtle as they may be, you're still going deeper into the pose. Three more breaths. Moving in slow motion after your third breath, lifting the head, coming up onto your hands, lifting upper body, just enough space so you can shift Way off to left side, so we can bring the right leg all the way around to the front here for head to knee pose, Janu Shirshasana. So right leg will remain extended, you might even flex the foot, left foot to the inner right thigh or down lower. Getting tall with the extended arms, inhale, exhale, hinge a little bit. You can bring hands down to the floor or your leg, or maybe you can reach the foot, or you might eventually reach the foot if you bend the right knee. Round your spine and take your time. Multitasking. We'll take three more breaths. And 
After your third breath, free your hands, reach forward, and inhale to rise back up, hinging, re-extending by reaching up a little higher, and the exhale, arms come down to your side. And there's a little bit back behind you, so we can lean back. I'm going to drag this heel in. We're going to cross. So let's pick up the right foot. Just turn to your left. Step that foot over the knee there. And even adjust your seat as needed. Okay. Just hold on to the shin with hands to help extend spine. Left hand or even your arm. Okay. I'm just doing the hand here on the shin while right hand comes around to help prop myself up, pushing into the earth. And just a gentle twist to your right. Yeah, so your arm, this left arm might be hugging the shin and knee, or just using your hand to hold on to the knee. Perhaps getting into the outer hips a little bit. And three more breaths. After your third breath, soften, unwind, lean back into both hands so we can extend the right leg like it was a compass. I'm just kind of swing it around to the front and lower it down. One more boat pose. We're lifting this left knee. Adjust your seat. Okay, modified boat or even a full boat pose. And then rising up, come to cobbler's pose or bound angle for a moment. Nice and tall, extended spine. Feel free to stay tall or even hinge forward. Take three more breaths. After your third breath, just notice if your back is rounded. If that's the case, just lift the chin, looking out past the front edge of your mat to help you re-extend the spine, and then hinge from hips and rise up until you're nice and tall in your cobbler's pose. Just pause. And then just carefully make your way down onto your back. You can draw knees into chest. And then happy baby pose here. So we did the one-legged version earlier. You can do both legs here. You can still do one leg at a time. Options, you can just take the knees wide with that, without lifting the feet up. They can stay as they are. Or if you'd like, kick the feet up, reach up, find ankles or the soles of your feet. Just a couple of breaths here, unless you're doing both sides, so you might need a little bit more time, that's fine. From here, reclining cobbler's pose. First version, bring the soles of your feet together, hold on to the feet in your hands. So your toes will be pointing up towards the ceiling. And with a little bit of effort, send the heels down towards your pelvis. Meanwhile, your knees or your legs are pushing forward towards the front corners of your mat, just to open up as if you were still seated. Imagine you, you were seated in this posture. Knees pressing down towards the ground. Okay, one more breath. And you can take the reclining version of this. Releasing the feet, setting the feet onto the floor, but the soles are still touching. Knees uh, just opening up naturally to the weight of gravity. And if you'd like, just to carry on that tree theme, Maybe extend one leg onto the floor while the other knee is still bent. And just noticing just what this feels like. And 
Maybe a few breaths on the first side and doing your lying down tree on the other side. See what it does to the hips. How does it affect your back, your legs? And for the next minute or so, move into any other posture that would feel good. It could be a twist, another back bend, another hip opener. Take your time, but when you do feel complete, guide your way back into Shavasana. We introduced the pose to the body a little earlier. Now you can fully uh, practice the full release. Truly a yin pose, disengaging, letting go. Return to the awareness of your breath. Stay right where you are. Just notice your breathing. Full and complete breaths. Now take five slow, steady breaths. And with these breaths, feeling movement return to your body. Allowing this pranic flow of energy to move through you. Perhaps you opened up a few more spaces. If so, let that breath seep right into those newly opened spaces. And after your fifth breath, when you're ready to move, slowly and carefully roll to one side of your body. It's moving into a nurturing pose. And from here, carefully rise to a seated posture. Once you're seated, a nicely extended spine with relaxed shoulders and a deep breath. And then one more movement with breath. Inhale, extend your arms out and up. And exhale, bring your palms together and down to your heart, taking one more full and complete breath here on your own. 
As we come to the close of our practice, we bow saying, Namaste. Thank you so much for watching and participating in this yoga lesson. To help us with the channel so we can continue to bring you more content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's really appreciated. Namaste.